We are at Richmond R International Raceway for race number 11 in the Castro JTX Cup Series and the last shot to make the All-Star race for, two for the Season 2. On the pole, Ralph Green alongside of him, Jim Giannorin, row 2. It is Tim Frolic and Tim Gardner, row 3. Jack Richards and Jake Cole, row 4. Dalton Day and Eric Webler in the 18 car, his best start since joining the 18 team. And the green flag waves. The Crown Royal 400 is underway. Ralph Green gets a good start here. They go three wide already into turn number one. Look at this. Look at this pack of cars coming out of the fourth turn. And oh, we got trouble. Jim Jan Norton has crashed. Him and Tim Frolic, several cars. Oh my goodness. A pile up happening in the front stretch here at Richmond. Didn't take long for the action to get going, that's for sure. Jim Giannorton is going to race his way back to the line. He brushes John Douglas in the process. And oh, Dylan Petit has crashed. Now, what happened there? Let's see what happened to Dylan Petit. First off, he gets hit by the 21 of Hayden Klein. Boy, and Dylan, he hits the wall. Dylan saved it from being a much serious, more much more serious crash. Now let's look at now let's look at what happened to cause the big crash in uh, turn number four. To, not even half, not even a completion of the first lap. That's sad here at Richmond, no doubt. All started up front. Jim G. Norton gets squeezed up there. Him and Tim Frolic in a six. They squeeze each other up. Several cars take an evasive action without question. Several of them get through, barely. And oh, look at this. There are several cars just getting... Final place to get, uh, final place to get through, I should say. It looks to me like the only two cars damaged up is the six and the double zero. So, several cars right in the bumper, or right in the wall. There. But, oh boy, a lot of them had to take evasive action. Still under caution here. Ralph Green right now is the leader of the race. Dalton Day is in second position. Lights and base car are off. Jack Richards, Connor Breton in fourth, and Aaron Reed fifth, and Alexander Dawson, Eric Webler, Mark or Matt Richards, Tim Gardner, and Paige Johnson, the top ten in this race. Paige having a very good run. Her sister Emily right now runs in the 39th position right now and here they come for the green flag ralph green has a good start but dalton day got a better start in the 17 here he comes dalton day already qualified for the all-star race ralph green trying to make his way in without having to race his way in in the winston open here they come, side by side. Here they come out of turn number four. Dalton Day is going to take the lead here. And we're under yellow once again. And it looks like it's John Douglas this time in the 25 car. Oh, oh! I think he wasn't the only one. Eric Matthews, our California winners in it. Along with John Douglas, him and Emily Johnson crashed. John Douglas uh, apparently got tapped. Let's look at what happened to John Douglas. He's right in the middle of a, a big gaggle battle right here between him and a six of of um, Tim Frolic. Here he is. Let's watch in replay. 
He taps Tim Frolicton and gets hit with a 31 of Dylan Petit. And gets bulldozed by Dylan. There's John. He pops the inside retaining wall. And then his crash here actually caused the crash between Eric Matthews and Emily Johnson. Apparently. Let's see what happened from Eric Matthews' point of view. From the roof cam of his car. Eric stalled the car, as you heard, and finally got it going again. From Emily Johnson, let's look, let's ride with, let's go for a ride with Emily Johnson and see what she saw from the in-car camera. Scrapes the wall first and then smacks into the 30 car of... Into the 30 car of um, Eric Johnson, so... But the pace car is on right, on right now. Dalton Day has the lead right now with Ralph Green running in second, Connor Breton at the third, Jack Richards fourth, Aaron Reed fifth, Alexander Dawson, uh, Mar er, Matt Richards, Eric Webler, Paige Johnson in the th nine car or n number nine position, Tim Gardner in the in the tenth spot. And we're about to get ready to go green flag here. The pace car is going to duck off on the pit road. Hopefully we can get a green flag run, I hope. Richmond's been known for a wreck fest here. This whole season has been a wreck fest somewhat. Dalton Day has the lead. He gets a good start. Ralph Green trying to take the lead back in the number two car. Connor Breton, he wants to win a race here. They're getting racing. Oh! crashed. He gets hit by the 17 of Dalton Day. Oh my. And he almost caused a big crash here. Ooh. Several cars pass. Several cars are going to a gaggle for position. Oh, we got another crash. Keith Batson looks like he's in it. Racer DSM's in it. And uh, what happened there? They crashed right when the cost after the, after they crossed the line for the yellow. They were just in a in a gaggle of cars to the line. Now watch Matthew watch racer DSM on the 29. He gets hit by the 28 of Keith Batson, who gets hit by the 25 of John Douglas. 33 car Jacob Rodriguez. He um, actually avoids it, believe it or not. But let's look at what happened to Ralph Green in the two car. He was our pole sitter for the event. He was the leader of the race. Him and Dalton Day were battling. Now watch this. Actually, no, Ralph Green was running second. Real, this is real time. Dalton Day hits him. I think what happened, Dalton Day, I think, hit Ralph Green. Let's look again at what happened. I think... Here it is. He hits Dalton Day. Then Ralph gets hit by the 20 of Connor Breton. Connor loses several spots there, but Dalton Day keeps the lead. Ralph Green, let's just say he tried to wreck Dalton Day, but that wasn't going to work. So Dalton Day leads the race now. 
And now with Jack Richards running in second position, third is Alexander Dawson, fourth Aaron Reed, fifth is Mark or is Matt Richards, fourth or sixth is Connor Brayton, seventh at the moment is Paige Johnson, eighth Eric Webler, ninth Tim Gardner and Jake Cole running in tenth position. So the field about to come down for the green flag. Let's hope we get a green flag finish here. God forbid. Or God hope so. Dalton Day leads here. Now with four laps remaining here. Jack Richards right now runs in second with Alexander Dawson in third. Out of the second turn they come. And here comes Alexander Dawson to the inside for the lead. Or for the second position. Matt Richards in the 9 car, in the 90 car, the FDP Brakes Chevrolet. He wants to try the inside lane, he wants to try for the win. But Alexander Dawson, he's right on the back of Dalton Day. Two laps to go. From the rear bumper of Alexander of Dalton Day's car, here comes Alexander Dawson to the inside for the lead. Dalton says no! He slams the door on Alexander Dawson! Here they come! White flag waves for Alexander Dawson! Or excuse me, Dalton Day! And it looks to me like we are under yellow and that was the race. Dalton Day has won the Crown Royal 400 here at Richmond, Virginia. The yellow wave right when we're coming for the white flag. We're about to have a great finish for this race. But shit, look at that. Dalton Dessay doesn't care. That's his second win of the season in the Casual GTX Cup Series. His third overall. And we focus in on Dalton Day, and he comes across the line. There he is. He has won the Crown Royal 400 here at Richmond International Raceway. Alexander Dawson is going to finish the race in second position with Matt Richards finishing third in the number 90 car. Let's look at what happened. I think it involved Keith Batson in the 28 car. As the leaders were coming down for the white flag for the race. I don't know what happened there, truth be told. Ooh! -hoo. I think I think I guess what happened there. He was on the he was on the inside of the two of Ralph Green. He gets turned by Ralph Green, hits the thirteen of Josh Osborne. Osborne gets away. Stephanie Naylor barely avoids him. Then oh, Matthew Rodriguez or Jacob Rodriguez and the thirty car of Eric Matthews. They flip Keith's car over. I do not remember Davey Allison flipping anywhere except Pocono. <laughs> Back in 92, that was with the black car. Well, let's ride with Keith Batson for the in-car camera. Fasten your seatbelts, everybody. Ooh, horrible ride. But Dalton Day wins the race back to the line. Here's how they finish. Dalton Day wins it. Andrew Alexander Dawson, Matt Richards, Aaron Reed, Jack Richards, Connor Brayton finishes in sixth. Seventh to Paige Johnson. Eighth to Tim Gardner. Ninth, Ryan Cooper. Tenth, Charles Jackson, Adam Chambers, Robbie Bogus, Eric Webler. Drop down to the... Um, 13th position, Jake Cole, he uh, Hayden Klein, Jeremy Doobie, Dougie Shears, Ann Batson, Aaron Hughes, and Trey Campbell, the top 10 in this race. Or top 20, I should say. So one car wasn't scored at all. I'm not sure what had happened, but. But there's your winner.
Here's your winner, Dalton Day wins the Crown Royal 400. Here's how they are right now in the points. Ryan Cooper still now has the lead. Charles Jackson and Alexander Dawson. Dalton Day, Alex Filter, Aaron Hughes, Josh Osborne, Hunter Carlson, Hayden Klein, and Mike Becker in the top 10 in the running order. So, there's the other half. Ralph Green drops out in 21st position. And only two females, or three females outside the top 20 in the running order. Ashley Sears having a very hor having a tud start to the season. Well, next up will be Charlotte Motors, will be Lowe's Motor Speedway for the Winston All-Star Race. Don't miss it.